Why has he got a standard range and it's white? No! 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 None of that matters because this still does a whole lot of things normal cars just can't do. If I do this manually, will that break? You just get a code. Okay, watch my eyes. Right, so now there's a track to come in and I have to... There's nothing wrong with white or a standard range really, but you'll agree there's better money to be made slagging off electric cars on the internet than saying good things. So bear with me on this as we break the internet with positive. Here's number one, the exciting updates that you get over the air while you sleep. Imagine spending all this money on something and then getting a few little extra perks. One simple example which has been added might be the, if you click the supercharger that's on your destination, we'll come on to that anyway, it now tells you how many stalls available, but also how many people are on their way to the charger. You either have a race or you know there's gonna be a fight when you get there, so you can choose another one. I like the screen, by the way, this is a bit, this is a, you know, like when you spend a lot of money for something and you have to uh, justify it to the other half? Well, here's why. Well, look, darling, look, because now the kids can see, they don't have to ask us how long, because it'll say two hours, 14 minutes. Oh, wait, I've got Apple Music. I didn't have that yesterday. The process of a journey is simple. Let me show you. I'll just pull over here by these bins deliberately, because this is a brilliant shot for YouTube. See that? Did you see that Tesla one? What was that one? He did that shot where he came in, like, and the bins were there. So you put the process in. Let's say we want to go to Edinburgh. Edinburgh. It starts, you start typing, it already does it for you. Edinburgh Castle. Let's go there. 305 miles. It knows faster than any other car. Then it shows you where you're stopping and it tells you how long you need to stop for and how much charge you'll have when you get there. So you can choose either one. It says here, that I will arrive at Edinburgh Castle with 9% charge. The little things like that. And also, we have recently done a long journey in this, the standard range, and we started off on the long journey with 32%. 32% we started on the long journey. What other electric car would you dare go on a long journey and start with 32%? Another quick look at the bins, and we're off. Even dogs like being in a Tesla. I mean, look at these woofers, all comfortable and air-conditioned. A feature that, yeah, it is very old, but still popular with dogs years later, they tell me. Oh, and as we speak, Elon has just sent me down some access to Amazon Music now. A, a weather thing and the ability to order food from the car. Food. You know, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Charging is not like any other electric car in the world because with a Tesla, obviously you have the superchargers. You turn up at the supercharger. If this doesn't open automatically, as soon as you press the thing on the little hairdryer that you pick up to plug in, it will open for you. You plug it in, you walk away. There's no card tapping. There's no none of that nonsense. There's no worrying about if it's gonna work or not. It always works unless, in fact, if it isn't working, it'll tell you it's not working. And that is absolutely superb. And also if you're a Tesla supercharger member thing, you pay a small amount, I think it's, I don't know, 10 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever it is. And then you get a reduced amount of charging price at certain times, and you get a bill at the end of the month. Plug in, walk away, do nothing, walk back to the car, take that off, that'll shut automatically, drive off, get a bill at the end of the month. Next is passion and community. We all need a sense of community, especially now. And when you go to a supercharger, it's probably one of the only times in your life that you will have an enriching conversation with a stranger and you will immediately be their friend. It is so hard to understand. Not everybody, but most people will talk to you at a supercharger and tell you what they earn, how much, not, not really, but they are very friendly. It's like taking a dog for a walk in the park. Everyone wants to, they want to meet, hello. It's a fact that many people that rip into Tesla haven't even driven one. And that's upsetting because Elon has given his entire life to the pursuit of his dreams. Leave him alone. It's infuriating that people don't celebrate more what he's single-handedly created as a human to make people's lives better. He's not just made a car, but he's made the world's best toy and experience and, and probably the best thing since actually the invention of being able to move. Aside from all of that, you've got things like Tesla Days and the Tesla Owners Club, which 
it probably would be one of the most pleasurable experiences you can have, believe it or not. Like-minded people, all parts in a field. Oh, you went for a blue one. Yeah, I was going to go for the black, but I, I went for the blue. All of that, all day stuff, is remarkably interesting and surprisingly so. It's very nice. You have coffee there, we went around a track in our Tesla. I mean, it's a bit like CrossFit, it is a bit culty. Oh, yeah. Culty, I said culty. Purely in the interests of balance and Elon's favourite thing, Go free yourself. speech, here now are the things I like less, and we call this the true news. And we start with a safety item, controlling the aircon. What I want to do is I want to make it cool. So I'm going to, what, that's my eyes. Okay, watch my eyes. So off, off the road. Now I'm looking at that. I'm going to push this. No, you've got, to squ you've got to swipe it up to get the temperature. How do you do it? Where? There it is. Right. So that's now, you might like having indicators. And for a, about three weeks, you'll be doing this because the indi indicators are on here. Uh, I haven't decided whether I like these buttons or not. Parking assistant menu, that isn't, that hopefully they'll change that. The gear thing, obviously they put the gears here now. You pull it down to go backwards and you push it forwards to go forwards. Surely it should be pulled down to go forwards, back to go reverse. Anyway, devaluation thing. Do you know what's interesting though? It isn't as bad as some of the other cars. Number one, because Teslas are brilliant. Number two, if you are a purchaser that isn't gonna do the least thing, there's always going to be a, a customer for a Tesla Model 3. You can see Teslas on the used market now with 10 million miles on it and people are buying them. Uh, the worst thing, yes, is the tech advancement because Hardware 5 is coming. They've already made an enormous update to this, making it look nice. Look, you've got the car here, you've got the maps up here. There's loads of other little toys to play with. And I think Hardware 5 is gonna change that again. It could essentially turn this into a completely new UI. If you've bought one, then that's not good. If you're leasing, well, it's, it's fine. Just run till the end of the lease and away you go. Those are the negatives. Can you think of any others? Oh, I do like this though, this gear thing up here. I didn't see that the first time I got in one of these. Your gears are actually up here as well, so you can press drive or reverse. If you don't want to be doing all that. Back to some positives. I'll press this button now and go into auto cruise. The person who drove this before, by the way, has been shadow banned from the pilot assist thing. He's obviously not known how to work it, and now we can't do a proper review because we've only got auto cruise standard on this now. Right, acquisition process much easier with Tesla than any other retailer. I would go as far as to say that Volvo are a very good retail experience. Tesla essentially up until very recently and, and probably still now are very laid back about it. You want If you want one, then that's up to you, isn't it? It's not up to us. Very nice, modern. They got mod, everyone who works for Tesla got modern names, you know that they come out, they come bouncing out the office higher, they know everything about it, and it's a very easy acquisition process. Number four is the simplicity of driving. It's not really exclusive to Tesla in particular, but they are the most simple. His ethos, I heard, was that he wanted you to interact with the car as least as possible. So this means that the steering wheel being small and the fact that it's very easy to maneuver, the fact that there's loads of light, the one pedal drive, obviously, you can turn the creep function off so that you can drive from one part of the country to the other and not touch the brakes once. It's an obvious thing, but it is something that is more relevant now because certain people, are you one of these people who won't drive anywhere during the day? I'm not going, where, what time's the meeting? It's two o'clock. Well, I'm not driving in the day, am I? You cannot go anywhere in this country without A, fear of being done for speeding, B, fear of, I don't know, some other camera thing they've got going on, or three, you just get so tired, foot on, off, foot on, off, how fast am I going? And if ever I've got to do a journey that's relatively long, I'll do it in an electric car. And again, that goes against everything everyone else who hates electric cars say. The thing about the Tesla is, you get into the habit really quickly that you don't need to do much more than five minute, 10 minute stops. Pull over, there's a charger, stop. You get into a habit, pull over, there's a charger, 10 minutes, oh, I need a wee. Right, into the supercharger, go and have a wee, come back, tells you, have a coffee, tells you when it's done. All of that is, you just don't get with any other car. 
That brings me back to the overnight updates. So this is a new thing, which is the little speeding ding, which I find exceptionally useful. And that will make a sound, uh, I think, when there's a camera speed camera there, or if you are exceeding the speed limit. And all you do, you hear the ding, don't take your eyes off the road, take your foot off, regenerative braking, you're not catching me out, mate. That's right, because now in the UK, cameras have been installed, not just to monitor your speed, but also to scan for other important things, like Skin. how many followers you have on Instagram, or if you're a potential danger case for diabetes. I wanted to talk about the road noise and the effort that Tesla have made. If you are in doubt about road noise, make sure the car is running Hankooks. Hankook tires have made an incredible difference to a number of cars post 2022. So if you get an 18, when do they come out? Whatever, if you get a 19, right? That is quite a noisy car. And then I think in late 21, 22, they did a load of special secret things to make it quieter. So that's interesting. Add to that the Hankook tyres, you end up with a, with a car, seriously, even on the performance, that is really, really quiet. Another thing about noise, and it's more of a question really for the people that are majorly more expert in Teslas than Tesla themselves, and that is, do they make a bigger effort with the performance models in terms of refinement than they do in this model, the standard range? The reason I say that is that having tested a, a new shape performance in the old car it was much quieter than the standard range and the long range in the new car the performance on bad surfaces was really quite loud and and far too loud for me actually and the way to think about this noise issue which has been going on for years is in in this particular standard range car quiet roads is probably too quiet very very good door shutting sounds it sound deadening in here is really good. This is good for your sound system. And then on the motorway, most of the time it's quiet. On bad services, it's too loud. But that's the same with any car. What we can say is that they've made some vast improvements. Where are we now? Oh, oh yeah, five. In fact, I'm going to pull over for this. I'm going to pull. Up, I'm going to pull over for this because it's really, it's really important. There's your, your parking thing again. Please, can we just anyway? Right, push that in there. Sound sound system you won't get in any other car as good as a tesla the sound in this the standard range is well above average and probably better than anything else on the road but when you get to the long range and the performance you get more eq parameters you get much more power you get bigger subs you get better drivers better amps there is no car on the planet at the moment. It's a show car, basically. You get show car sound in a long range or a, right. So now there's a track to come in and I have to, now that's forward, you see? Driving around the city, it uses very little power. It sips it, even on longer trips. It's so efficient that it barely makes a dent in the range. It's clever. Also, my friend, here's the thing, only ever uses superchargers for his energy and after two years of doing that hasn't noticed any battery degradation at all the only thing that has degraded is his car's value <laughs> Shut up! scraping the barrel a bit here but um security so this is not an easy car to steal in fact if you look at the numbers of, of cars that were stolen well, uh, over to 2023 Tesla had the least amount of cars stolen. I know you're thinking, well, nobody wants one. That's not, that's rude. But in actual fact, it's because they're very difficult to steal. One of the reasons might be because you have your own little code that you can put in. A you get in, no key, you put your code in, you drive off. You don't have to have the code. The code is very good. I'll say that again for Land Rover. The code is very good. You just get a code. From the famous dog mode to defrost mode, very useful. The Tesla app becomes even better now. There's interior light, carpeted accents, a new red, and this life-changing Quicksilver, which is transformative. Although, I'm not sure about this feature. Okay. You've got these traffic light things now, which I, I like. That came down overnight, like Christmas day. Oh, look, I've got traffic lights. And now they've gone green, that's clever. Eventually, I think the traffic lights will do something automated. 
Next, brr, really obvious one. This is the Performance, which is, everybody knows about a Tesla Performance. If you have a Performance Tesla, people try and race you, not because they think they're gonna win, but because they want you to get done for speeding. So don't fall into that trap. Wants to race me? No, everyone knows. The Performance is brilliant. 279 horsepower on this, which for a car that weighs a weight, just a wafer amount, and it's always on is perfectly enough if not probably too much for most people and the fact that when you corner and you take your foot off the accelerator and it does that regen thing it just makes everything so much smoother there's no vibration it's as if he's been making these since i don't know the beginning of the car finally then there is the ecosystem this is like its own planet as you know, Elon purchased all of the electricity in the world, and that makes having one of these exceptionally easy. Plus, there is a million and one other things with these that you don't get with other cars, and that would take hours. In fact, YouTube essentially now have had to buy extra servers for all the people doing Tesla reviews. They're a lot better at it than me. So I hope this has been marginally useful for someone who hasn't had one before. And that, there you go, is your round of applause now for commenting with your other bits that these cars do that normal cars don't. Because in a world where everybody is literally bashing electric cars, there's one brand that's completely immune to all of that.